What's up guys, Ryan here from Inspire Marketing and welcome to the first Final Cut Friday. Now in today's video we are going to cover audio ducking in Final Cut Pro 10. Basically what audio ducking is, if you have a talking part in a video, i.e. a vlog, and you have a song or a track playing underneath, obviously you're going to have to drop that audio when you start talking so your viewers can actually hear what you're saying. And if you are switching back to any B-roll footage, you can pump that volume back up to give that viewer just a great experience. Let's just get straight to it and we'll show you how to do it. Okay guys, so what you want to do is head over into Final Cut Pro 10. Obviously once you've got all of your uh, footage imported up here um, and you've got some stuff added to your timeline. So as you can see down here we have our clips. So here's your talking part. Here's your B-roll and then we go back to a talking part. So um, apologies if the audio sounds a little bit dreadful guys. I'm just waiting on some equipment to be delivered. So should be here fairly soon um, in time for next week's video if not the following week. So what we're just going to do is uh, hit play and we're just going to have a listen to this. Um, obviously as you can see your audio levels are here. Um, so we're just going to... Um, hit the space bar, hit play, and see what it sounds like. What's up, guys? Ryan here from Inspire Marketing. Now, today we are going to take the. So, as you can already tell, the music is just far too loud. So, there are loads and loads of videos on YouTube on how to do this, but I find this is the easiest and quickest way. So, what you want to do is have your audio clip selected. You want to, you can either come up here and click range selection or your shortcut is simply R and then you'll see there's a little um, kind of bracket there so what you want to do is it will obviously kind of snap to the end of each clip you want to just kind of select there take it to where you want the um, ducking to begin and end and then you can bring it down Usually I find over talking segments minus 22, between minus 20 and 30 is a lot better. So let's have a listen to this. What's up guys, Ryan here from Inspire Marketing. Now today we are going to take a look at some of the best accessories you can buy on a budget for professional filmmaking. So as you can see, already sounds loads better. So again, obviously what you want to do is um, select the range tool again. Obviously you can kind of snap back to your select by pressing A on your keyboard. If you want the range tool again, simply press R. And then what you want to do is create a new range again for your talking segments. And then you want to drop that down. As you can see, it puts in the fade. So if we go to here and have a look. Today we're going to be taking a look at some... So there you go guys, quick and easy, two and a half minutes, that's how you do audio ducking on Final Cut Pro 10. Obviously you do want to have a play around with your uh, range etc and your volumes just to make sure it's sounding the best it possibly can. So there you go guys, that's how to do audio ducking in Final Cut Pro 10. If you've liked this video please drop me a like and hit that subscribe button, it means the world to me. And we'll see you next week. Thanks, guys.